Now, Chelsea will return to the pitch today, just three days after their owner, Roman Abramovich, was sanctioned. The decision by the government has put the future of the club in doubt, with the club unable even to sell new tickets. We can talk to former player Mickey Ambrose. Uh, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us on this. What do you make of the situation Chelsea finds itself in? It's due to got a big match with Newcastle this afternoon. Yeah, a very big uh, game. Good morning, uh, Julia and all the viewers. I mean, I believe that the government should not impose any sanctions on Chelsea Football Club as this punishes the fans, the club and the players. This also affects the competitiveness of the Premier League and Champions League. I mean, Roman Brambridge has been removed as the owner of Chelsea. The government have ruled they cannot profit from the sale of the club, whilst uh, the club, um, also the Premier League, have removed him as a director of the club. So basically, he no longer has a connection with Chelsea. So why are they imposing sanctions on the club? where they have 1,000 staff, um, you know, the, the security guards, the people that work in the club shop, the mega stores being closed. I heard that uh, 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 two brothers came from Malaysia, um, spent £28,000 to, to, to travel, and they couldn't get into the shop. Why is the government, why is Liz Trust and the Foreign Secretary, the Foreign Secretary um, actually imposing sanctions on, on the club and the people that work there? Well, it was sanctions clearly squarely aimed at Roman Abramovich, whose money has, right. has funded the club. Yeah, but um, uh, Julie, uh, Ron Brambridge took over the club in 2003. Are, are they actually saying that for the last 20, 20 years, they haven't worked out um, where the money's come from? They've won 21 trophies. What do they have to give the 21 trophies back? I'm just looking at it from a point of view. The, the, the club, it's, it's the fans that are being penalised and, and the staff. You're sanctioning Ron Brambridge. That's fair enough for whatever uh, he, he's done. Um, but I think it's, it's having a... I mean, the club could go down into administration. I mean, normally we talk about lower division clubs going into administration. We talk about a club that was founded in 1905 that has... I mean, I'm a big fan of Chelsea. I, I was a, a young boy from the age of five supporting Chelsea going in to, to, to the club in, 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 in the 70s. I just but think Mickey, it, the, it's, the, it's the, the money is, But the money has ended up in Roman Abramovich's pocket, ultimately, hasn't it? It has, it has. And I can see your point there. But... Um, you know, so you're saying basically, or the government is saying that the club should um, should should fold because of 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 the money that it's had. I just think that it's taken. I just don't understand for over those years. You know, why didn't they check where the money was coming from? Obviously, there's a means test for owners and um, and directors. I mean, I mean, what I'd like to propose a solution, Julie, is that um, the government and the okay. Premier League and the Football Federation should meet and agree the sale of the club, and okay. all the proceeds should go to to the Ukrainian government. Thank you very much indeed, Mickey Ambrose, for joining us this morning. Thank you.